Club Express, interests. Every organization has interest groups that represent informal collections of members who get together because they share a specific interest. If the interests are based on things that members like to do, they provide a way for people with similar interests and desires to meet up with each other and share experiences. If the interests are based on organization activities and programming, they provide a ready group of participants and volunteers to ensure the success of an endeavor. Emails and discussion forums are easily targeted towards interest group members, and the group membership is automatically maintained as interest members come and go. When the interest function is enabled and placed on a menu, members can sign themselves up for and remove themselves from an interest. There are two ways to do this. They can click on their profile and select interest to easily check or uncheck multiple interests at once. Or they can select interest from the menu, which provides more information. This screen lists each interest category with its description. Within each category are its interests, together with the interest coordinator and the number of members who have registered for that interest. If an interest is associated with a club webpage, a blue info icon is displayed that links to the page. Clicking the View Members icon displays the members who have already registered for this interest. Note that this list is available to members only. If the current user is not logged in, the login screen will be displayed first. Each interest member is shown with his or her name, location, email address, and any social networking links. Phone numbers are not shown. The name and photos are links that display that member's directory entry. If there are many members in the results, you can page through the list, and the search function lets you find members by last name, first name, city, state, zip, or country. If the current member is not on the list, the Sign Me Up button at the top allows that member to join the interest list. If the current member is already on the list, the Remove Me button at the top allows the member to leave the interest list. Note that the Sign Me Up button may not appear if your club or association has limited the number of interests that you can join and the member is already at the maximum. Each interest can have a coordinator who is responsible for managing the interest and the underlying activities. I'll log out as a regular user and log in with an admin account. Interests can be added, modified, or deleted at any time by admins and coordinators. Some clubs and associations create interests around a specific program and then delete them when the program is finished. Like all functions within Club Express, there's a user side, which we've just seen, and an admin side. And as usual, there are two ways to get to the admin side of the function. While on any interest page, you can click the admin icon in the page tools widget, or you can go to the control panel and the interest function appears on both the people tab and on the club tab. So let's click the pencil icon and we'll move over to the admin side of the function. The interest categories are displayed in a familiar Club Express grid showing the number of interests in each category and the category's visibility. The maintain column has links to edit the category, view and edit the interest within this category, and to delete the category. To add an interest category, click the add category button. You specify the interest category name and a description, and you can optionally limit the number of interests that a member may sign up for by checking the box and entering a number. The system will enforce this maximum within each category for each member, but not for the admins. The category can be visible to all visitors and members. It can be visible to members only or to admins only which can be useful for creating ad hoc mailing and emailing lists, effectively letting you create arbitrary groups of members. Just to find an interest category for admins only, then the groups within that category will not be visible on the website. And finally, the admins and member profile choice makes the category visible to administrators only, as well as on members' individual profile screen. This option allows members to select an interest without showing this information to other members. The Display Sequence button lets you change the order of the displayed items, and the Reports button lets you select from a variety of reports in several formats. The Export Interest Members button generates and downloads to your computer a data file of interest categories, interests, and the members who have selected that interest. If applicable, 
you can optionally limit the data to a specific subgroup. The Interest Options button lets you set some default values. One option allows non-members to view the interest members. The other displays interests within a category using an accordion control. This option is useful for clubs that have many interest categories and interests. Instead of presenting all categories and their interests at one time, only categories are displayed and the user clicks the down arrow to expand each category. To manage interests within a category, click the Interests link. For each interest, you can edit this interest and you'll see the Add Edit screen that we'll get to in a moment. When you click the Members icon, you see a screen that shows the membership status for each member. When the member expires or are dropped, they are not automatically removed from this interest group since they might renew or be reinstated. In the public screens, however, only active members are shown, but in all these admin screens, all members are visible, so it's important to see their status. And if there are members in this group, you can send a simple text-only email to everyone registered for this interest. You can also delete the interest. You'll be prompted to confirm this action, then the interest in any member registrations for this interest will be deleted. Let's go back to the empty category that we created a few moments ago. To create a new interest, click the Add Interest button. You can specify an interest name, a detailed description, a custom web page to link to, and a coordinator. When editing an existing interest, you can also change the overriding category in which the interest appears. If your club or association has activated the mobile app, you'll see a Create Channel option, allowing you to automatically create a mobile channel based around this interest group. Members who join the interest group will automatically be added to the channel. So now I'll add a few more interests within this category. When an interest coordinator or administrator goes to the main interest members user page, we see two special functions. The Export Members button exports members of this interest group to a data file in your browser's download folder. The Email Members button lets you send a quick formatted email to the members of this interest group, and you can also do this from the Control Panel's emailing option. You enter the subject and content of the message into the simplified version of the content editor. Click Send to send your email immediately, or Cancel to close the dialog box without sending an email. The email will be sent to each interest member who has an email address and who has not opted out of receiving club emails. It will also be sent to the interest coordinator, even if he or she is not a member of the interest. Note that these emails are not saved and they cannot be retrieved once sent. Finally, you can configure the interest profile page to be part of the member signup wizard so that members must select their initial interests during the member signup process and update them during the membership renewal process. To do so, go to the People tab on the control panel, select Membership Wizard Setup, and then select the appropriate boxes and save the configuration. So that's a quick look at the interest function. It's really very simple and very powerful. It allows you to create interest categories and interest groups within the organization that members can join and leave themselves. And as an administrator, you can use this to create ad hoc groups that might be useful for special purposes within your club. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you at the next video.